Uh, Y'all ready? Alright, let's go. Hit that icon. Yo, stay in the paint. Alright, good fire, good fire. Hey, you the lock train, but don't be trying to do the same thing. Just, if it's a switch, it's a switch. Drop down, drop down. Hey. I bet. Train, back door. Good pass. Sorry, get out, ball. You see what I'm saying? Like, when do I supposed to dribble? Good way not to move. It's all good. It's all good. Wrap me on, Henny. Try and back up. Good shot, Henny. Good shot, boy. Let's go. We back in the game. All right. Let's just, let's just lock in on the D. Oh, drop down, Henny. You see that? Henny, come and get him. I'm going. They let him shoot. Look, good stuff. Good. That's all good. We just got to pay attention. You know what I'm saying? Like, we got to pay attention. That should have been quick. Y'all see it. I think it won't dunk a ball, bruh. Fucking dumb man out wide shit, bruh. That shit is stupid, bruh. Rebound. Good pass. Come on, come on. Good stuff, good shit. Get rebound, what? Alright, pay attention. It, they gonna just they gonna play the game. You just gotta pay it. They they not just gonna see train. That's a switch. This is what I'm talking about. Let's let's pay attention to the switching. Everybody been you know on vacation. Good still. Good try. Good good D. Good D. What? Good D. Let's go. I'm out. Oh man, that's all good. I'm gonna stay for now. All right, just let me help. Just, just let me hold. I'm gonna foul. Get that rebound. Yo, come back down. Yo, this one on. Like, nigga, where y'all been? Man, y'all niggas be sleep, bruh. Like, bruh, that's the second time. Bruh, come on, bruh. Play some defense. Go down. Man, it's the same shit we're having with Spanking Claw, man. Y'all been sleeping on 2K, man. Come on, bruh. Yeah, so nice. Switch, switch, switch. Oh, T, they been sleeping. I been gone, motherfucker. Been taking vacation on this bitch. Don't they want it. They're like, that nigga, none don't play no more. Fuck it. Rebound. Good pass, what? Hey, come on, we need one stop. All right, so just see whoever going to the paint here, you and just like let's take a chance on the center shooter. Who the center? Okay, Henny, get him, get him. All right. Come on, baby. I need you. Good shot, boy. Hey, we right here, dog. We just, just pay. let me stay, bro. I'm gonna just stay. I'm gonna just stay. I'm going under. I'm going under. Bump that, yo, yo, my nigga. I just think you on. I think you smoking a little weed this morning. I'll just, just be honest. Okay, you don't smoke. Bro, you doing something, bro? Wake your motherfucking ass up, bruh. Yo, can we, can we, can we stop reaching for money? 
All right, let's just let me die right quick. I'm gonna file. I'm just gonna reset it. I'm gonna file. Don't don't worry. All right, all right, bruh. Can we? Can we? Damn, but I don't know what to say. Can we just do right? <laughs> yeah, hit it. All right, pay attention. I switch, switch, train. I'm going out. I'm going out. Get it. Train, switch me. Tra train, uh, Henny. Okay. Good D. Can we get? Man. Bro, I'm going to be honest, though. We gave her like eight points just on like paying attention. Come on. let's. It's all good. It's, it's all. It ain't ass. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that ass, but. That ass, Henny, I'm with you on that one, but what about you not paying attention, though? What are we gonna call that? Okay, come on, baby. Wake up, baby. Wait, you know what I'm saying? Wake up, goddamn. We were actually doing good. He said, um, <laughs> I'm having fun, though. I can't even cap. Wait, what you about to do? You gonna be okay? Got. Shoot, dang. We know what he's doing. Alright. That's you, Henny. Alright. Train, switch that. Good way to pay it. Good. Good. Train. Way to, way to make up, baby. Nice. Nice. Good defense, fellas. Like you said, it's just going to be a lot of rotation. A lot of rotation. Yeah, that's all. But how is that wide open, though? That's what I... I, don't, I don't, That's all good. Get back on D. Good reach. Watch the cut. Wow. Yes, sir. All right, that, you, that's you, Train. Train, stay. That's a stop. That's a stop. That's a stop. Watch the cuts. Watch the cuts. I need... We need... Good D, good D, good D. That's... Train back door. My bad. He gave you the shot. He gave you the shot. My bad. Good teamwork. Good teamwork. Good teamwork. Good teamwork. Good five. Yeah, it is fun because I'm playing. That's what it is. Because you know we're going to play that teamwork and defense and complain a little bit at who ain't playing teamwork and defense. Good shit, Train. Look at the cut. Too late. Rebound. Oh, it's dead. Hold on. Yes, sir. Good teamwork. Good teamwork. Good stuff. Good teamwork. Good call. Good try. Space Frost. Whenever you close like that, stay. Good five. What's good? What's up, Trey? All right, let me let me hold it. Good. We ain't getting the rebound. Okay. Man, dog. Okay. Stay there. Ah, uh, good. 
That was horses though. I ain't gonna cap. Good deed. Get rebound. I'm pinching. Pinch me. I'm over that. I'm over that. Let's go. Let's go, man. Come on. Let's go. I'm back. All right. Good. Good teamwork. I'm over it. I'm switching. Good. Good teamwork. Let's go. Good note. Then I'm, I'm cut. Good teamwork. Way to go for the rebound. Good shot, baby. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Let's go. That's you. That's you. You close. Good teamwork. Good calls. I'm going to let him shoot that. Oh. I'm switching. Good. Good teamwork. He might hit that. Good pinch. Great. That's all. Let's go. Good pass. Good shot, big dog. Good shot, boy. Way to call it. It's good, gang. So J can. I had that whooping our ass yesterday. <laughs> you know, you know, Claudio want to win, especially when y'all homies like that. You know, they wanted that dub. I, w I wish we could have got it, cause I know, like, when you're playing the homies, you want the dub. God damn it. Let's be honest. Glad you uh hopped back on 2K and out of the retirement. Yes, sir. He's there over here. Nah, you know, we were trying, bro. I ain't gonna lie. We were sweating. I'm coming. Good pass. I got that from T right there. Uh, I've been watching T. Yeah. He said, bro, you don't miss. He said, what you be shooting on? Bro, I do miss. <laughs> now, I was, I was hitting yesterday. I ain't going to cap. But towards the end, I don't know. I think I got sleepy. Look at that diamond. My bad. Slow ass pass. That's a two. We can live with it. Now, I think I got sleepy towards the end. Bro, I got I I get out of work and hop straight on the game. Got him, bro. The fucking oh man. Just still good game, fellas. Good stuff, baby. Good game. Let's go, man. Let's go. Not straight out working straight. Man, bruh. I lead. I do a 10 hour shift and get straight on 2K. Do another five to six hours. I ain't playing. I got off this morning. Guess what I did? I was straight on 2K. I ain't even been asleep yet, boy. Yeah. I did what? I went. I got off this morning at 730. I got home by 8.21. Yeah. Yeah. Straight on 2K. Don't tell nobody I said I did that though, y'all. You know what I'm saying? We responsible now. But um, this year, man, I'm a, I'm a, I said I'm not going to stream no more than five hours without taking a break. So that's my goal. Five hours. And then I'm going to take anywhere from an hour to three hours break. You're naturally intuitive. Humans have intuition from birth. If you've ever been around babies, you'll know exactly what I mean. The problem is that through societal conditioning, GMO foods, and masturbation, your senses have dulled. And that last one I mentioned also called, fapping is horrible and ruins your intuitive mind. Masturbation kills your intuition. Releasing semen decapitates a man in so many ways, and what it does to you spiritually is terrible. So I'm going to focus on that here in part 5 in the Stop Coming series. I'm going to explain what intuition is, why men have it as well, which many people don't realize, 
how it's related to the reproductive organs, and how it's connected to the semen that you habitually eject. I'll also review the differences between injaculation and ejaculation for those who still don't understand. So, intuition is not only a mystical power reserved for psychics and yogis, it's a natural human ability, hardwired into our very being. Think for a minute, babies, pure and unconditioned, display incredible intuition. They sense emotions, pick up on subtle cues, and navigate their world with an innate wisdom that often leaves us confused and surprised. And as we grow older, as we get conditioned with societal norms, processed foods, and yes, the habit of masturbation, living in hypersexualized societies, this superhuman gift starts to fade. We're slowly but surely dimming our own inner light. And without that gift, we disconnect from our true selves as souls. Now, you're probably thinking, what does masturbation have to do with intuition? Everything. Absolutely everything. When you release semen, you're not just expelling a bodily fluid. You're literally ejecting a concentrated form of life force energy. Remember, your seed holds over 200 vital nutrients and vitamins that are designed to create a human baby. So, if you're not creating a child, why are you wasting that? Imagine what's leaving you. Breathe. Think about this. Here are some of the 200 minerals and vitamins that you lose. Iron, magnesium, tryptophan, vitamins B12, folate, selenium, copper, choline, calcium, and much more. They're the building blocks of your spiritual and physical vitality. They're the very essence of your cosmic potential. They're also the building blocks of neurotransmitters, the chemicals that allow your brain to function at its highest level. But it goes deeper than just nutrients. There's an energetic component here that modern science is slowly starting to realize. In Taoist and Tantric traditions, sexual energy is seen as the most potent form of life force. When properly cultivated and circulated, it has the power to increase not just physical health, but mental clarity, spiritual awareness, and yes, intuition. Think. How many times have you felt drained, foggy-headed, and disconnected after masturbating? That's not just physical fatigue. It's a depletion of your vital energy, your life force, and your chi essence, which is connected to you as the soul. And with that depletion, you're dulling your senses, including your sixth sense, your intuition. I'm not trying to shame you. I want to help you understand the true cost of your habits and help you start making better choices. Sure, it's your body as a man, I know that but recognize that you have an incredible power within, a potential for heightened awareness and intuition that you're losing for momentary pleasure. And we both know you literally feel yourself losing that power once it's done, more so when you release without a partner. Something I didn't mention yet is that your body has an innate intelligence to know the difference between when you're masturbating by yourself and when you're making love with your woman. It even can tell whether it's your woman or just a woman, based on the feelings and intentions you're radiating inwards and outwards. Think about that. Choose wisely. If you're shocked at the fact you lose over 200 minerals and vitamins for every ejaculation, then give us a like and subscribe. I'm going to continue to teach you much more. Now, the science. Intuition is a mystical force. Yes, but it's also measurable because it's your brain processing information below conscious awareness. It happens in your subconscious mind. It's deep pattern recognition, drawing on a vast database of experiences and knowledge to make split-second assessments without you being consciously aware. Let me tell you something interesting. So, the same parts of the brain involved in intuition, the insula, the anterior cingulate cortex, are also heavily influenced by your hormonal balance. And guess what has a big impact on your hormones? Yup, your sexual habits. That's obviously though, right? Well, listen, because when you constantly deplete your body through excessive ejaculation, you're throwing your hormonal system out of whack. Testosterone levels fluctuate wildly, prolactin levels spike, and dopamine receptors get desensitized heavily. All of this has a direct impact on your brain's ability to function at its highest level breathe and it's actually not only about hormones there's also the energetic component both mystic and scientific 
In Eastern traditions, the reproductive organs are seen as a powerhouse of subtle body energy. This energy, when retained and circulated, is believed to enhance all aspects of our being, metaphysically as a soul and physically in human form. This includes our intuitive abilities. As I love to say, modern science is only just catching up to this timeless mystic wisdom, and that's a good thing because we have a lot of subscribers that need scientific validation. We understand that. Studies have shown that semen retention can lead to increased testosterone levels, improved mood, and enhanced cognitive function. All of these factors play a role in sharpening our intuitive abilities. Think about it. When you're feeling energized, clear-headed, and emotionally balanced, aren't you more in tune with your surroundings? More able to pick up on subtle cues? More likely to trust your gut feelings? That's your intuition in action, and it's directly linked to how you manage your sexual energy. I mentioned this before, but here's my response to the question. But doesn't ejaculation prevent prostate cancer? So, let me ask you this. Are you really masturbating for your prostate health? Be honest with yourself. And regular ejaculation isn't necessary for prostate health. Injaculation allows for the benefits of orgasm without the loss of vital fluids. Remember those fluids are needed to create life. Imagine all the vital life essence within what you habitually eject. Recent studies have shown that the link between ejaculation frequency and prostate cancer risk is far from conclusive. In our community and through the wisdom we've studied, it doesn't link whatsoever. If you haven't watched the earlier vids in this series, I'll explain again the differences between ejaculation and injaculation in a minute. I'll probably get comments on this again, but I'll just keep reminding you in hopes of shifting the mental paradigm. Your overall lifestyle, diet, and genetics play a much more significant role in prostate health. Comment below if you want to learn how to injaculate and recycle energy beyond what I'm about to tell you in the next sections. Now, let me go more in-depth into the spiritual. In many ancient traditions, non-perverse sexual energy is seen as the raw material for spiritual transformation. The Taoists call it Jing, and the Yogis call it Ojas. But the concept is the same. It's the most refined and potent energy in your body. When you constantly expel this energy through ejaculation, you're not only losing physical vitality, you're losing the very fuel that powers your spiritual evolution your evolution as a soul to higher states of being, beyond humanity. You're dimming your inner light, clouding your mystic vision. Think, have you ever noticed how after a period of abstinence and control, your dreams become more vivid, your thoughts clearer, and your sense of purpose stronger? That's not a coincidence. That's your secum building up, enhancing your connection to higher realms of consciousness. The ancient Egyptians, or more accurately, the Kemetic people, knew this and understood every aspect of it. They embodied it in their very culture, religions, spirituality, and daily practices. The god Min was seen as the god of male fertility, male sexual potency, and the spiritual power within it. Each god, or Netaru, as they called them back then, were representations and aspects of the One Divine. So, although Kemet had many Netaru, they were all different aspects of the One Netar. This is what Tehuti, the Netaru of Wisdom, calls the All, and what the Vedics call Brahman. Min is usually depicted with an erect phallus, literally male sexual potency. And it's not about sexual prowess in the way we might think today. It's about contained, controlled, and consciously elevated sexual energy. The erect phallus symbolizes the power of controlled and directed sexual energy. It's truly about mastery over your masculine vital essence. Dr. Muwata Ashby, in his deep studies of Kemetic spirituality, points out that Min represents the power of regeneration and spiritual rebirth. In his view, Min was truly about the power to regenerate oneself spiritually, to be reborn into higher states of consciousness. And for a man, the phallus is key to this all. They were practicing no fap and semen retention tens of thousands of years ago, imagine. And after the Egyptians, the world made a cult of all this. What do you see in most capital cities? Obelisks, Washington DC, Paris, London, the Vatican, literally every major city in Latin America, 
and of course in Egypt, they all have these towering obelisks. But do you know where the symbol originated? That's right, ancient Kemet. The obelisk is a representation of the phallus of Osar, also called Osiris, symbolizing the generative power of the universe. But again, the true teachings outside of the cult that most of these societies of today belong to is dealing with the energy, the power, and the potential contained within. The obelisk points skyward, symbolizing the elevation of this energy towards spiritual realms. It's a constant reminder of our potential for spiritual ascension through the mastery of our sexual energy. So now, let me briefly talk about injaculation. This is a modern tantric and Taoist practice. It's also an ancient technique, known and practiced by spiritual adepts for tens of millennia. Injaculation is about experiencing the bliss of orgasm without losing the vital essence through ejaculation. It's about circulating that energy through your body using it to fuel your spiritual evolution rather than expelling it. When you master injaculation, you're not just improving your sex life. You're literally transforming your body into a vessel for spiritual awakening. You're turning the raw sexual energy into refined spiritual fuel, into refined chi, prana, also called sekim, which exists beyond the body, beyond physical 3D. You would be transmuting lead into gold, turning lust into enlightenment. This practice isn't easy. It requires discipline, awareness, and a deep understanding of your own body and energy systems. But the rewards are limitless. Mystic practitioners talk about increased vitality, enhanced intuition, deeper spiritual experiences, and mystical phenomena. Remember, your sexual energy is not separate from your spiritual energy or chi. They are the same. The kundalini energy that yogis seek to awaken. That's your sexual energy, transformed and elevated. The chi that Taoists cultivate? Again, it's rooted in sexual essence. Although just a warning, achieving ascension or Christhood through tantric, Taoist or any sexual energy cultivation is extremely hard because in a way you are trying to fight and control a primal urge of human nature, which is the desire to procreate. There are many other ways to achieve ascension, just keep this in mind. A wise mystic once said, There is one truth, but there are many paths. Okay, now I'm going to explain injaculation a lot more because I've been reading your comments from the older videos in the Stop Coming series. Many of you are asking, Does this mean I have to give up sex with my partner? Listen closely because this is nuanced. Semen retention is not about avoiding sex. It's about mastering your sexual energy. The ultimate goal, the true lesson of semen retention is what we call seminal injaculation. Yeah, you can have sex once you've mastered injaculation, the art of circulating energy up your spine and down the front through the microcosmic orbit. Read the books and watch the videos of renowned Taoist master teacher Mantak Chia. He's been teaching this wisdom for decades, but no worries, I'll keep covering this topic. This is a highly advanced technique. It allows you to experience the bliss of orgasm while completely separating it from ejaculation. You're not losing your vital essence, you're recycling it. Men do have orgasms and yes, they can be separated from ejaculation. What you're doing is pulling that same hot power back up your spine to your pineal gland through the microcosmic orbit, then circulating it back down the front of your body. This all happens in a few moments before climax, or the point of no return as Mantak Chia calls it. You're alchemizing your sexual fluid into higher forms of energy, useful for every aspect of your life, rejuvenating power. It's complex, sure, but it's real and it works. Remember what the ancient physician Sun Simiao said? After 100 days, his voice will become clearer and more resonant. After 1000 days, his skin will become smooth and moist. After 10,000 days, he will achieve spontaneous levitation in broad daylight. This wisdom is supposed to be meditated upon with the understanding of injaculation and recycling energy, not just semen retention. These practices encourage sex, but it's about practicing injaculation with your partner skillfully and diligently using proven Taoist, tantric, or proven mystic methods. So no, you do not have to become celibate. You're just learning to have sex like a god. 
not a mere human. You are a soul bound in a body. You aren't human, so think like a god. There's an ancient comedic proverb where Tahuti says, Gods are immortal men and men are mortal gods. Think about that for a second. To put it bluntly, tantric practitioners believe seminal ejaculation is a major key to enlightenment. They say it's the path to becoming a conscious spirit, able to leave the body and incarnate at will. But like I said, be careful as this path of seminal cultivation into soul force is tough because you are fighting against a primal nature to procreate. Even if you're making babies and recycling energy with the excess, it's still tough. For those who are asking, doesn't ejaculation prevent prostate cancer? Let me ask you this. Are you masturbating for your prostate health? Be honest. Anyway, the truth is that regular ejaculation is not good for prostate health. You've been bamboozled. Ejaculation gives you the benefits of orgasm, again through the separation of orgasm and ejaculation, but without losing those vital vitamins and nutrients. I'll say it again. Those fluids are meant to create life. Just imagine all the life essence you're habitually ejecting. Recent studies have shown that the link between ejaculation frequency and prostate cancer risk is far from conclusive. But doctors push it on middle-aged men like the studies are factual. They're still researching it. In our community and from the wisdom we've studied, there's no link whatsoever. I'll probably get comments about this again, but I'll keep reminding you to shift your mental paradigm. Your overall lifestyle, diet, and genetics play a much more significant role in prostate health. Breathe. Every choice you make is either feeding you as the soul or starving you. I phrase it like this because it's not your spirit. You are the soul itself in your human body. The energy cultivated from sexual power is chi, which exists beyond your human form. It's good for you as the soul. So here's what I want you to do. 1. Start paying attention. The next time you feel the urge to ejaculate, pause. Take a deep breath. Ask yourself, is this momentary pleasure worth dimming my spiritual sight? Is it worth calcifying my cosmic antenna, my pineal gland? Think. 2. Begin to see your sexual energy as sacred. Your body is a temple, and your pineal gland is the holy of holies. Treat it with the respect it deserves. 3. Learn to transmute that energy. When you're making love and you're nearing the point of no return, when that sexual energy is rising hot and fast, you've got to relax. Clench your Kegel muscle, hold it, and visualize that energy rising up your spine and activating your pineal gland. Feel it illuminating your third eye. This is not repression, it's about control, withdrawal, redirection, elevation, and recycling. Your Kegel muscle and mental discipline need to be extremely developed to do this successfully. Don't expect to get it right on the first nine tries. Study the works of Mantak Chia, or Taoist and Tantric techniques to train these skills. 1. Support your intuition. Eat foods rich in zinc, magnesium, iron, calcium, vitamins B12, C, E, citric acid, alkaline, and fructose. Consider a fluoride-free lifestyle to prevent calcification or to decalcify your pineal gland, which is directly connected to intuition. You're literally feeding your third eye, nourishing your cosmic antenna. 2. Optimize your sleep. Your pineal gland produces melatonin in darkness. Sleep and wake up at the same time each day. Create a sleep environment that supports this crucial process. You're not just improving your sleep, you are aligning yourself with cosmic rhythms. You will face resistance. Your conditioned mind will rebel. Society will tell you this is unnatural. But in truth, their notion of natural and unnatural is a construct influenced by a destructive paradigm aimed to feminize and weaken men, the warriors of mankind. Now, let me zoom out. Look at the bigger picture with me. Why is all of this so important? Because we're living in a world that's desperately in need of intuitive, spiritually awakened individuals. The challenges we face as humans and as souls can't be solved by lower vibrational solutions. 
We need people who can tap into higher wisdom and who can see beyond the surface level of things. We need people who can make decisions based not just on logic and data, but on deep intuitive knowing. By being mindful of how you use your sexual energy, by choosing to retain and circulate this powerful force rather than expelling it without purpose, you're not just improving your physical health. You're sharpening your mind, enhancing your awareness, and tapping into levels of intuition you might never have thought possible. This journey isn't always easy. You'll face challenges, moments of doubt, and the pull of old habits. But every time you choose to retain, every time you decide to circulate your energy rather than expel it, you're taking a step towards reclaiming your full potential. The power is in your pants, literally. What are you gonna do? That's game. Let's go. Let's go, man. That like you know, dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's one thing about the Dynamics 2K TV. <laughs> that boy gonna figure out that 2K. <laughs> day one, day two, I might be going through it. But that's one thing about that Anonymous 2K TV. It be like he ain't never struggled. Like what? Go listen to that day one or day two on any of my 2K content. Any any year that it dropped, that Anonymous be ready to give up, ready to tap out. That goddamn day three, boy, that nigga be like, what? I can't believe I called fucking GameStop and asked him to get my money back. Hey, damn. Come on, man.